Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve a multi-step equation with fractions and find the value of the unknown variable. Now I have four fractions in my equation which is making my problem more complicated to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the fractions. In order to get rid of the fractions we just need to get rid of these denominators I have. So what I'm going to do is first of all let's think it this way that fraction is a division problem. And what's the opposite, what's the inverse operation of division? Well, that's multiplication. And we know that we always use the inverse operation in order to solve the equation. So now we know that we need to multiply this equation by something. But what number do I choose? 4, 3, 6, or 2. Now, the answer is we just need to think of the smallest number that 4, 3, 6, and 2 can divide into. We need to find the least common multiple of 4, 3, 6, 2. So the least common multiple of 4, 3, 6, and 2 is 12. So that means we're going to multiply this equation by 12. So let's do that. I'm going to put the parentheses around my equation and then multiply this equation by 12. Right? That means I have to multiply all my terms inside the parentheses by 12. So let's do that. I'm going to put 12 times 9 fourth x minus 12 times 1 third is equal to 12 times 5 sixth x plus 12 times 5 halves. Now let's simplify this. Now there are two ways to simplify it, but I'm going to use the easy way. So 12 divided by 4 is going to give me 3, and 3 times 9 is going to give me 27. So I can put here 27x. Now the other way is you can multiply 12 and 9, and whatever answer you get, you can divide that by 4, and you still you're going to get 27. Now let's see. 12 divided by 3 is going to give me 4, and 4 times 1 is going to give me 4. Right? This is equal to 12 divided by 6 is going to give me 2, and 2 times 5 will give me 10. So I'll write 10x here. And then 12 divided by 2 is going to give me 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, so plus 30. And you can do it this way. 12 times 5 is going to give you 60, and 60 divided by 2 will still give you 30. So both the ways are okay. Now I have variable term on both sides of my equation, and I'm going to eliminate the variable term which is smaller. We know that 10x is smaller than 27x, so I'm going to eliminate 10x. Now, you can eliminate 27x if you want. But if I eliminate 27x, I'm going to end up with a negative coefficient with the x, and I want to avoid doing that. So I'm going to eliminate the smaller variable. So subtracting 10x on both sides of the equation. Now this is 27x minus 10x is going to give me 17x. And then I'm going to bring down minus 4 is equal to 10x minus 10x is going to be 0, and 0 plus 30 is going to give me 30. And then we're just going to use the inverse operation to solve this equation. So this is 17x minus 4. Always remember that we uh, undo the addition and subtraction first, and then we undo the multiplication and division. So we're going to undo the subtracting 4. What's the inverse operation of subtracting 4? Well, that's adding 4. So we're going to add 4 on both sides of the equation because we need to balance this equation. Now here I have 17x, and then negative 4 and positive 4 is going to be 0. So this is gone. And this is equal to 30 plus 4 is going to give me 34. 17 times x. So what's the opposite? What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, that's division. So I'm going to divide by 17 on both sides in order to get rid of this 17. Now this 17 and 17 is going to cancel out each other. I got x on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, 34 divided by 17 is going to give me 2. So the value of x is equal to 2. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.